Cloud Factory. Today I'm going to show you how to work with darts and lining for your dress. Here I will work with my basic top patterns. You can work with the basic dress patterns as well as you wish. In both cases you have the uh, link to download it from my website in the description box below this video. Once you have it, let's see how to make it. Fold your fabric considering the width of your dress or your corti and place your basic top pattern in this way and pin it. Remember the 3x symbol, it means that you have to put this side in the folded part of your fabric. Then starting from the shoulder point, mark the distance from your shoulders to your hips in this way. For me it's 21 as you can see here and trace this line. Now in that line mark the fourth part of your hips and add some inch if you want loosen, only one or two or it depends on your taste. Now also starting from the shoulder point, mark the length you want for your dress or your kurti and consider two inch more because this will reduce when we close the dart on the um, breast part. And also trace this line. Now in this line mark the fourth part of the width you want for your dress. This is completely up to you. Now we will join the points we mark with the help of our roller. First the waist point with the hips point and then the hips point with the length point. Now to complete the dart for our dress you have to mark three inch and a half starting from the end of your top dart in this way and trace this line. Now remove your pattern, add half inch more so in total we will have 4 inch for this line and now in the top part of this dart you have to copy the dart from your pattern, take the same measurements and just uh, draw it again on your fabric. In total here my dart will be 10 inch but that depends on everyone because your basic patterns remember is completely adapted to your own measurements. Here I will trace a line of 3 centimeters, 1 centimeter and a half on every side of my line obviously. And considering these points just try trace the uh, top dart and also the bottom part of your dart. Repeat exactly the same process we made so far with the um, uh, front pattern. Also transfer the darts in the same way we did and cut it. For the breast dart you don't need to transfer it, you can uh, sew it as it is uh, considering the shape of the dress but if you are a beginner you can transfer it also helping you with a pin to mark the point the starting point of the dart and with the roller also copy exactly the same shape in your fabric. Now let's cut our lining piece take your dress piece as a reference both front and back and then cut your lining pieces obviously in lining fabric. Just pin it on its place and cut it in folded fabric. Do the same with the back part and there you have it, your lining and your main pieces. Now let's see how to stitch it. First of all you have to transfer the darts to the other side of the fabric. I am doing it with this roller. You can also mark the main points with pins and then trace it in the other side or take the measurements and draw it again. The main thing is you must have the same dart in both sides. Like this. And once you transfer all your darts in your main pieces, let's see how to stitch it. Fold the dart by the center line like this and pin it. Then give a stitch following the lines. 
and there you have it. Do the same with all the darts in your dress and press it. You can cut them and open it in if you want also, but I will keep it like this. And it will look like this. This is my front piece. As you can see here, I already sew also the uh, breast darts in the same way I show you. I pin it together with my lining piece, both folded in this way. Now make your neckline design and cut it both pieces together. Open it and put it together facing right sides of fabric and we will stitch all around except for the bottom part of my dress. This one uh, I will leave it open. Here I am stitching the armhole and I am working with the front piece of my dress so remember here we have the dart so in the lining piece you have this shape also only make a fold in this way to match the shape of the main fabric which has the dart already stitched and sew it together we are not stitching the darts in the lining piece it will be more easy first line the dress and after that close the darts but we want a more neat and clean finish so we don't want the stitches of the darts in the lining piece so we are doing it in this way you don't have to don't worry because remember the main thing with darts is follow the shape of your body so once you wear the dress the shape of your body will feel that extra fabric in the lining and it will be perfect once you finish we will make some cuts in the curved shapes like um, neckline and armholes then open it from the bottom part and turn it out be sure to unfold out the corners perfectly and press it and repeat exactly the same process with the back piece of your dress and there you have it your boat pieces with lining as you can see here you don't have any stitch in the inside part and your seams will look perfect. Now you can build your dress depending on what you want. Here for example I close my shoulder parts first. Remember for this we leave extra space for stitches, half for lining and half for uh, the building stitches. Now I will stitch the sides of my dress. But you work with yours depending on what you need, if you need to install a zipper or buttons or neckline first or sleeves etc. Once you are done you will notice that the back part of your dress is longer. That is because we closed the breast dart and that reduced the length. But don't worry that will not mess with the final length of your dress because remember we add 2 inch of that length and it was because of this. In this case, only trim the excess of fabric here. And since it's a one piece dress, you will not have any problem with the shape. And there you have it. Your lining is ready. You only have to turn it to the other side to see the result. And now you are ready to work on your dress with necklines and finishings, borders and trims and whatever you want. Actually you will need this knowledge to work with necklines. 
for our next video so that's why I decided to upload this video first I hope you like it and I hope it's useful for you if it's like that please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also you can follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page and add me as a friend on my Facebook profile you will find all the information below in the information box for this video thank you very much for watch and happy stitches for everyone